In this case, is the Quick Carb by Blickman Engineering, and it claims to be able to force carbonate your beer in about 45 minutes. We're gonna put it to the test. Now, when you open the box, there's, well, a jumble of all sorts of stuff in there. You've got a whole bunch of hoses, you've got a pump with a power supply, you've got some ball lock connectors, and a set of instructions. Despite its messy look, it's not all that complicated. There's a pump to start with, and then there's also a carbonation stone. There are three hoses. Hose number one, which I've labeled with a single piece of tape, is the saturation hose. I find adding this tape really helps me identify which hose is which, it gets confusing. The second hose is the CO2 hose, which will connect to a CO2 source. And the third hose is called the short liquid out hose. So I'm going to show you how to set it up and we'll put it to the test and see if I get carbonated beer in the next 45 minutes. To start with, you take all three hoses, put them into some sanitized water, I'll just put some star sand in here, and then connect up the pump. So we're now running sanitized water through the system. To get that sanitized water through the carbonation um, stone, we take the saturation hose here, where the water is currently coming out, and kink it. And now the water will be sent through the CO2 hose here. You can see now the benefit of marking each of these hoses, one, two, and three, saturation, CO2, and then the short hose here with the, with the three pieces of tape, just so you can distinguish them all. Now everything's nice and sanitized, we'll pull out all of the hoses and let the system drain. And again, we will kink the saturation hose just to expel anything out of the CO2 hose here. And then we'll turn off the pump. Unfortunately, there's no switch on this. So it's uh, simply a case of disconnecting. Okay, we're all sanitized. Next, we need to connect the system to some CO2. I've got a CO2 tank here, and I've just added a little sort of DIY coupler that will enable me to screw on the CO2 hose here to this. I'm now going to turn on the CO2 and just purge the system for about five seconds. Okay, that should do it. I'm now going to take this black ball lock and connect it to the short liquid out hose. Now this is my keg of beer, it's just taken straight out of the carboy, siphoned in here, it's flat, but it's chilled. I'm just going to release the pressure, there's no pressure in that keg now. I'm then going to connect my short liquid out hose. Now I'm going to put my saturation hose in another bucket, I'm going to turn on the pump. And I'm going to turn on the CO2. Okay, now we've got the beer coming through here. We'll turn the pump off again. I'm going to connect the grey ball lock to the saturation hose. Tighten it up. And connect this to the keg as well. Now the system comes with this carbonation chart which shows what PSI to set the CO2 to. You need to know how cold the beer is in the keg, about 40 degrees, and then you need to pick your style. In this case, I'm uh, brewing an IPA, so we're gonna be kind of in the green area here. So I'll just look for my temperature, which is 40, um, and to get around 2.3 of carbonation, I want to set to about 10 PSI. The system tells me to add a couple of points to that, so we're gonna try this out at about 13 PSI. So I'm gonna set the regulator here to about 13 PSI. Now I'll turn everything back on, the pump and the CO2. 
And that's it, the beer is now coming out of here, uh, going through the system, and then you can see it's coming back in very carbonated, very bubbly. Um, when this line clears, it means it's finished. So we're just gonna leave this now uh, and see how long it takes. So I'm gonna set the time, let's have a look. All right, so it's 5.43. Let's see how long it takes for the line to run clear. About 30 minutes later now, and everything's running clear. So now we're gonna shut off the system. Disconnect the hoses. I've got a little picnic tap here. I'm gonna connect this up. Oop. Make sure it's uh, closed, which <laughs> clearly it wasn't. Okay, and now we'll pump in. Now what you'll see here is the beer is super agitated right now. It looks like we've completely overdone the carbonation, but that's because I haven't given this any time to settle down. Looks like I'll give myself just a big pint of foam here, but we're just gonna let this settle and see what the carbonation looks like. Okay, so I've let the head settle a little bit and the carbonation looks about right to me, let's see. I, like I say, if, we, uh, if, if I left this just a little bit longer, um, so that the, the keg wasn't quite so agitated, then there wouldn't be this big foamy head. Now the really nice thing about this system is that you can be very precise and kind of start a little low with your PSI, wait till the lines run clear, try the beer, and if you don't think it's carbonated enough, just turn the CO2 up a little bit, run the system again until the line runs clear again, and then keep trying the beer until you've got it just where you want it. But here I am, with a finished carbonated beer and it took, well, even with setup, uh, no more than 45 minutes. And there's nothing better than being able to go from kegging your beer to drinking it as fast as that, it's fantastic. Cheers. Cheers.